You know, I, I'm really uncomfortable with the term Chinese checkers, you know. Why's that? I don't know. Am I gonna find out that it's actually a, like some sort of, you know, a Polynesian game? Or, more accurately, made by some guy in the 1950s in America. It's like, I'm gonna call it Chinese checkers to give it that exotic feel. UDJ's right. Stern Halma is actually a German game, and was given the name Chinese checkers by Bill and Jack Pressman in 1928 as a marketing ploy. It is not Chinese by origin, and it isn't even checkers. I think we'll be okay. Nintendo's pretty good about making sure that everything is copacetic. Well, that is true. I mean, we don't we don't even have Connect Four. That's right. We have four in a row. We got four in a row. To, to so. escape any form of it's, copyright or anything, it's probably fine. Anyway, this week it's Chinese checkers. Even though that looks like a Star of David. For you know what, I'm looking too far into it. Let's just keep going. Chinese Let's just run checkers. into it. So I don't. It never ends. <laughs> it just needs to walk off stage. It's this fine. This is a three-player game where the object uh, oh. is to relocate all your marbles. Oh, we're probably gonna have a CPU. Moving That's fine. Day. Oh, good, because I've lost all my marbles. They pack up over here. I've lost and my marbles. Their new home is over there. So we're just going clear across. Clear across. Okay. See, I've never known how to play Chinese checkers. Well, now you're gonna know. Way, yeah. I can jump over it. Okay, you can jump right. pieces. And if you have room to make another jump after that, you can keep jumping. It is a arguably is much more, more peaceful game than checkers. Day. Oh. Jump, oh, that's jump, cool. Jump. Whereas checkers seems to be a game about war. This seems just about simple migration. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're just moving <laughs> to a new place. Boxes, kids. Immigration, immigration. You know, moving in all the breakables into a new house. It's a, oh my god, the fight China! Oh, maybe it was like some way that merchants killed time on the Silk Road. Oh, possibly. You so, know, we're stopping for the night. Might as well play a little game of Chinese checkers. Okay, like, I got some coins here. If if I make it over your side, I get all your coins. Hey, you know, hey, that there. works. And then it's like, ooh, can, ooh, can I play? And then, oh, can I play? Ooh, can I play? And then it became a cult classic that we're playing here today. I am blue, and you are uh, you are pink. Oh, yeah. So okay. jump those pieces, bruh. I'm going first. All right. Jump those pieces, bruh. Okay, well then. Let's uh, get Show us how going. the Chinese checkers. Yeah! Look at you, Chinese checkering. I'm Chinese checkering like a Chinese checker. All over the place with these Chinese checkers. I can't believe it. So what do they call this game in China? Uh, probably like Mahjong Plus or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Mahjong EX Edition! <laughs> They're not even Mahjong tiles! Oh, Mahjong Turbo, yeah! <laughs> I, was thinking, I think it'd be something like, you know, the, you know, I don't know, something like uh, American Guanxi or something. <laughs> this, this is American Bocce Ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... <laughs> oh yes, this is Finnish Croquet we're playing right here. That's not... <laughs> A tabletop game! Hey, you're what? you're still throwing the basically a cro a croquet ball, you know, just on a smaller scale. It's fine. We're playing Chinese checkers. Hopefully, it won't be that complicated. I hope not. So there's no removing pieces. It's literally just get your piece to the end. It's much more peaceful. Yeah. It's just hey man, I want to go over there. Can you let me through? It's like, well, hey, man, I want to go over there, but you're in my way. It's like, oh, man, go, go ahead, man. Yeah, go, go, ahead. go ahead. It's go cool. Ahead. It's cool. Honestly, I love that outlook of just being extra peaceful today. The Chinese knew what's up. Yeah, it's 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 chill. And, you know, I, I know that, uh, you know, ancient China was uh, always a peaceful time and nothing bad ever happened. Absolutely. Nothing ever bad. <laughs> nothing ever bad happens to China. Never. By the way, uh, do you know anything about Wolong Fallen Dynasty? <laughs> Well, uh, if I haven't kept read up on it. Why don't you? Why don't you enlighten the the crowd a little bit? Well, it it's it's basically all right. You know how Neo was kind of like Team Ninja's version of Dark Souls. Yeah. Well, Wo Long is basically Team Ninja's version of uh, uh, Sekiro. Interesting. And then when I heard that, I ran screaming from the computer. <laughs> so that's all I know. <laughs> Nothing ever bad happens to China. Especially when playing Chinese checkers. And just when I think that, you know, maybe I should check it out, I hear someone who's played Wolong say, Oh, I like it, it's a lot like Sekiro, and then I go, Bah! And I run <laughs> screaming again. <laughs> no, 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 no! I'd just be browsing Twitter, and then it's like, Oh, hey, you know, oh, it's, 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 it seems like this guy's played Wolong, and he, ah! 
I could just, uh, I could just see one day I'm gonna hear a UDJ running for the hills because Sekiro got mentioned again. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Ken Jennings played Wo Long. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I could have made it over there. Damn it's man. almost like Looney Tunes esque. Like I just hear from the apartment over. I just hear no, 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 no. Uh, I'm, I'm not very good at Sekiro. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sekiro's hard, man. It's it, it's hard and not a good kind of hard that I like. I didn't have fun with it. It's just like, oh hey, you want punishing difficulty on top of punishing difficulty? Yeah, we hate you. Yeah, but you don't have the flexibility that the other Souls games offer. Nah, nah, it's just all mean all the time. It's like it's like e you either learn to parry and read the kanji and counter that, or to fuck off. Oh yeah, that's the worst part. There is no like getting good immediately. You either are extremely good at the game or you just never play it again and you never win and i didn't know where i was going and i didn't know what i was doing and then i found this one boss who was it's it's the old lady madam butterfly i think is her name or something mm, like that something like that well uh, she started throwing uh, clones my way and oh it turns my. out the only way to counter these visions that they have is from a finite item and then when i used one of them and then oh. i died anyway i realized that sekiro was not the game for me help me help me i want to go home take me back to the warm crisp clean lands of lordran help me please okay well i should probably move these guys a little closer in so i can move go. new guys in i yeah, think about that almost you know we're moving Seems into weird. our new house we're where doing good where are my other guys that's all. You have two left. Oh. Oh, all the way in that corner. I see. I yeah, see, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll work. All right, so maybe I can... Definitely okay. want to okay. fill in the top. I got it. Fill in the top of the Christmas tree. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's all good. And, you uh... Got, you got two turns to win. I do. I do. Before I do. Oh, it's close. Next turn I win. Ooh, very good. I'll take a second. Yeah, I'll take second place. Clear, hey. Uh, oh. I wanted to actually finish. Yeah, that, that felt kind of cheated. That's... I mean, look how bad the CPU did. We're up in that difficulty. I, I gotta see what like hard AI does with Chinese checkers. Wait, uh, what's game finish? To all places. Oh, okay, that'll work. Yeah, yeah. I oh. like that. At least, you know, give me the chance. Oh, uh, it looks like we can't adjust the CPU's difficulty. Maybe maybe insane difficulty Chinese checkers is just impossible for mere mortals to comprehend. Yeah, in case, you know, 12-year-old Jimmy and uh, six-year-old Billy are playing the game, it's like, no, we're going to play the highest difficulty. No, I don't want to play the highest difficulty. You see, uh, he has a very high-pitched voice for a 12-year-old. This is the Sekiro of Chinese checkers. <laughs> Way too <laughs> difficulty. <laughs> Oh, does that mean that if I lose, I can try again? <laughs> Come on, GameStop. I know you want to do it. You and every other cheap game journalist wants to put this as the Sekiro of Chinese checkers. Why would GameStop do it? Because they did that. While I worked there, they called Far Cry 3 uh, uh, Skyrim with guns. There we go. That was the big ad. But it's not Skyrim with guns. Far Fallout 4 is Skyrim with guns because it uses roughly the same engine. But it is a first-person shooter, and apparently Skyrim is enough of a first-person shooter. Skyrim was always, like, the, the game to try and sell to jocks, I noticed, because they always wanted me to compare things to Skyrim because... It was the popular game. So everybody who has never played an RPG in their life are just like, oh yeah, I played before. Are you saying I could shoot people in this one? Oh dude, that slaps. They probably sided with the Empire. Oh, most likely. I really hated working at GameStop. Oh. And that was always the dream because, you know, video games, you're around video games all the time. And then, uh, and then of course I had to rem I remember the one thing that kind of was the tipping point was when um, we had just got done filling in walls and uh, th that's mainly just making sure all the advertising is correct and everything and all that. And uh, corporate came in and said, so uh, there has been a change. Uh, we need all the uh, we need all the Xbox games on the other side of the store and uh, all the PS3 games need to be moved where the Xbox games are. Why? <laughs> and uh, they said this at 8 o'clock at night. We closed at 9. And they said, yeah, it needs to be done by tomorrow. Cool, thanks! That's, like, 
what's the point? Oh, corporate was is a bastard, always has been. I hated, hated when corporate came in because it was always a change and just be like, why aren't your numbers up? So it was all about the numbers. And then I go into GameStop now and every now and again, I'll ask the employees. I was like, so are you still like, do you is, is your... Are you still based around, like, pre-orders and stuff? Like, because that was what we had to do. We had to get a certain number of pre-orders every day in order to keep our jobs. Yeah, it, it hasn't really been pushed lately every time I go to GameStop. I no. Do, you know, I come to them for pre-orders now. That's not their modus operandi anymore. It's just sales. Huh. So sales of any kind, instead of, you know, really burrowing in, hey, pre-orders... Uh, it was also the, the $3 game protection bullshit that I never do because I like to take care of my games. And how many open games you have in the park right now, and, uh... I mean, I've still got a few that aren't open, so... I've seen, I've seen, I've seen open discs around here, man. It Not means... right now, I cleaned it up before you came over. Do it! You're not allowed to see my sins. I, I, I'm not even gonna... You know, I'm gonna put them behind us, it's okay. <laughs> Just play some Chinese checkers and have some fun, all right? I've, I've had, I've seen people just have just a fan of discs on the carpet. <sighs> nope. Oh. Nope. Don't like that. Oh. Don't like it. Mm. <clears throat> and I, I've definitely told the story before, but the the, uh, the special edition Resident Evil 5 Xbox 360 that came in, uh, that was filled with sawdust. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a uh, that was an an actual nightmare of mine. I was like, who just doesn't take care of their shit? that badly. And also, they wanted, you know, how much can I get for this? And of course, it being GameStop, we gave them like $30. I, 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 I can give you a 2 by 4 <laughs> <laughs> Would you like it uh, uh, wrapped or upside the head? <laughs> no! No! You take care of that console. Don't you do that. What are some other horror stories? Well, I knew a guy who knew a guy, you know, so validity can be questioned here. Mm -hmm. Take, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Um, this guy... This guy. Chain smoked. <laughs> in his room. Oh, that white console's turning. And, and Dark! He's, like, he, it, it would just be like he's vaping with a cigar, even though he smokes cigarettes. Wow. And, uh... Well, uh, small tangent. Let's talk about the GameCube. Okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful purple color. Oh, it's a great console. In fact, you could get them in a bunch of different colors, and I kind of miss when Nintendo did that. It has been tested time and time again that it is a very strong console, too. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So, his GameCube broke. Uh-huh. How did that happen? Because the fan was clogged <laughs> with whatever kind of crap you can <laughs> imagine. Uh-huh. Oh, no! Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. So, I guess chain-smoking constantly in a small room without what? any ventilation what? is a surefire way to kill your GameCube. What? Life hack! Do you want to kill your Nintendo GameCube? <laughs> Do it one! Take a loaded pistol! Do a life hack! <laughs> Shoot your fucking GameCube! <laughs> Jersey style! And it'll still play your Xbox games! Dude, oh, do you right. do you want to make your PS3 lighter than ever? Throw it out the fucking window. <laughs> fucking life hack right here. It can do everything like fucking fly. Do you want your VR headset to feel more like real life? Oh, you throw it at a person. Oh, you dick bag. You Why did it do that? You bag of absolute dick. He's blocking me in. It's so on the wrong side of the planet. What? Why what, is it? What am I supposed to do? Get out of here. Why is it? In Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Get the hell out of here! What is it doing? Get out of here! Oh my god, it's actually blocking you! What's the him? matter with you? Get out! The AI is actually forcing you to not win! Get out <laughs> of here! Hey! <laughs> Oi! Do you want to piss off a fellow gamer? Play Chinese checkers! <laughs> Life hack! Oh my god, there! Yeah! Oh my god! I, I can't believe that happened. That was that was hilarious. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> what a prick. Rousing game of Chinese checkers. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's because this was allowed. Hmm. Prick. Do you want to do maybe one more game with this forbidden? 
one more game with this forbidden, that'll be the tiebreaker. Excellent. Excellent. And then the AI wins, and then, you know, life hack, we just suck at video well, games. Well, I guess uh, computers win, because without this, none of this would be possible. Computers win the day, don't you forget. With the power of modern science and technology! Uh, speaking of technology, have you heard of the game Facade? Uh, you know, I know of it. I know of its uh, significance. Have I played any of it? Do I know how its mechanics work? Not really. It is an AI game. Everything is procedurally generated by an AI based on what you type and how the AI responds to what you type. Yeah, but you know what year this was made? 2013. Mm -hmm. Uh, 2006, excuse me. Yeah, it's like... Uh, it that, is a that, very that, old that, game. That doesn't sound right, but you said it with such confidence. I just like, yes, I, it, that's wrong. I, I said I said that number because apparently the devs were working on a different game, and the last known update was 2012, 2013. So, yeah, they haven't worked on it in quite a heckin' long time. Oh, that's a jump. There's been a lot of AI stuff lately, and I don't know how to feel about it. Not just in the art world, but, like, have you seen Infinite Seinfeld? No, and I don't think that that's gonna work. It won't, but the fact that this is a thing that's starting is just off-putting. Like, I'm not fearful of it, not fearful of AI overlords or anything like that. I'm just thinking, oh my god, this might be entertainment one day. So, uh, speaking as a guy who has been seen next to a magazine of Wired before, in, you know, a few times in his life, I believe, to put it simply, Computers make great paintbrushes, but terrible artists. Yeah, I can see that. The kind of... The, see, the kind of tips and tricks and brand new technology, yes, that's good for, you know, tools and guidance, but not like, tap, 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 look, art done! No, 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 uh-uh. Well, that's been my argument against AI to begin with. Like, as soon as a scare happens and it's like, oh my god, AI is gonna, it's gonna take over or something like that, I immediately think they're only as smart as you make them. As far as I know, there haven't been too many successful learning robots that eventually become self-aware. I mean, that definitely hasn't happened yet. My favorite example of AI uh, messing up is, uh, do you remember, I think this was probably like 10 years ago, uh, the AI Watson. Yes. When he played Jeopardy. Mm hmm. It's my favorite story. It's just, you know, and they, uh, did everything down to an exact math and science, and he basically was a computer that learned how to play Jeopardy. Mm hmm. But there were still some noticeable hiccups. Yeah. That the algorithm would, that would miss that a human would easily tell is wrong. I think, like, uh, I'm trying to remember one of the answers, it was like, uh, uh, this dairy-free, friendly, uh, milk substitute, or, like, uh, 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 uh lactose-free, uh, mm. you know, cream so, yeah. substitute, uh, can be found in any refrigerator and all that. And, uh, the correct answer is, of course, what is dairy mate? Yeah. You know, lactose-free stuff, all that. But Watson, for some reason, his algorithm just said, what is milk? <laughs> There's still a couple bugs dying. He now. creamed the other two guys, like, who, who included uh, Ken Jennings, you know, <laughs> uh, world-renowned Great Jeopardy man, and of course Jeopardy host himself. But something like that, he he messed up on, and that's why we can't completely trust an AI because it still needs a human's oversee mm -hmm. in order to make it applicable to humans. Yeah, don't worry, we're not going autonomous yet. We're far from that. See if I see, see if I go to a bird and I and I learn how to talk to it and I just like start screaming at it. It doesn't know what I'm doing at it. But the, <laughs> but then if if I go tweet tweet it goes oh I understand okay oh okay because yes. I made it applicable to birds. Hey, yes tweet tweet yes indeed. If you do ever watch AI sign Infinite Seinfeld excuse me, um, they're actually extremely bad. Of like, course like because computers don't know how to be funny because. To be funny, you need to be human. Just like, Jerry, I went to the soup store today. This is tragic. And then a laugh track happened. Oh my god! This is tragic. Oh my god, within one turn of each within other! one turn. Nice! Wow. 
Oh, congratulations. Snuck out out of nowhere. Bam, there it is. Well done. I was trying to think of a way to get my pieces in there, but it just didn't happen. You see, I had an AI on the whole time predicting your next move, and that's how I was able to win just you. like that. You know. You cheated at That's Chinese checkers. That's a lie. It's I all human intuition, baby. <laughs> human intuition. Ow, my foot. <laughs> ah, it hurts. It hurts. Today I would Billions hurt like this. Millions of years of evolution. <laughs> ah. oh. oh, it's gonna swell up. Oh. All right, this one. The next game on the docket is Ludo. A popular, easy to play dice game. Wait a minute. I have played this. It's sorry. It's just sorry. It's sorry. It's sorry. Yep. Yep. Do I, I don't know if, if Ludo's the actual official title, then. I think Sorry adjusted the game a little bit, because I don't recall the board looking like that, but maybe it's just their interpretation of Ludo. But it definitely plays the same, so... Well, I like it better than... There. Uh, I like it better than what they did with four in a row, or Yacht Dice! Yacht Dice. Uh, yeah. Next week, it's Ludo!